Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, apparently today we saw earlier in the notes that uh, there's a new tutorial in the Brainiac mission uh, that when you start the game. So we're going to create a new character and we're going to test it out. So let's see how it goes. Also, no, let's keep you skip the cinematics. If you want to see the cinematics, I have a video called uh, DC Universe Online the Movie. So you, you could see the cinematics there. So here we have the male and female. Also, I was already planning to, to make a video a video with a new character because we got the, the new skins, as you can see. The, the structure is pretty much the same. They couldn't change the structure of the character, but uh, they reskinned uh, basically the, the old model. And let's go with a male. So I usually go with uh, athletic medium, which used to be called a uh, striker medium or something like that. So nowadays it seems to be athletic medium. So let's give it a try. Select exabyte download type. Create a custom configuration or imprint using data from an earth hero or villain. So we can use our own, uh, create our own character, or we can use a, a model, a template that's inspired by someone. Select a hero or villain morality. Although, as you can see, Inspired is uh, loosely based. Uh, it, here you can see this is supposed to be uh, Batman, which doesn't really look anything like Batman. Uh, the Superman version is a bit uh, closer. So there's uh, Catwoman, there's Lex Luthor, and you can see there's a whole bunch of gadgets, uh, characters, because it's uh, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, already established characters fall within the gadget by default, a gadget and acrobats. If you try to create already existing character, it's very easy to fall into those templates. I'm not sure why they used that, that skin for the Joker, but anyway. So the Flash, Wonder Woman, Deathstroke. Well, we'll probably go with Deathstroke. Uh, Bane, Cersei, Beast Boy, Mr. Freeze, Green Arrow, again, gadget, acrobats. As uh, so you see how easy it is. Uh, they gave ice powers to steel. Uh, that's a uh, way to go. Our friend Martian Manhunter. And uh, once you reach a uh, Green Lantern, sadly you can only use those characters if you have, uh, if you are a legendary or if you have purchased the power. So if you are a free-to-play player, odds are you won't be able to use this uh, Green Lantern template or Sinestro, uh, Black Lightning, uh, Live Wire. As you can see, these are these are using uh, the powers that you have to purchase, like electricity or uh, light powers. A uh, Geoforce using Earth. Terra, Captain Atom, Major Force, Eclipso, the Spectre. It's a bit ironic that the the evil Eclipso is the one uh, smiling, uh, but it kind of kind of fits, uh, especially with the Spectre. Atrocitus, Gar Gar Guy Gardner, Detonator, Sergeant Rock, Firestorm, Neutron, Mera, and the Evil Ocean Master. But for today, well, let's go with our friend uh, Deathstroke. Display Exabyte download summary. Appearance options now available. Modify any category as desired. Accept download when ready. So as the voice I just told you, uh, basically there's a template that that's already made. But if you want to change uh, some things, like in this case, uh, let's change let's change the origin for uh, let's say Meta. Select a mentor as a guideline for data application. And let's change uh, the power for... Select power group from available exobyte data to determine combat work. Now let's change it for munition. Uh, sadly, if you're a free-to-play player, you won't be able to use munition, so use uh, gadget instead. But we'll just try it out with uh, munition just for the fun of it. Weapon one-ended, yeah, we'll stick with that. And the acrobatic movement mode, uh, we'll stick with that too. So we're pretty much ready to go almost. Uh, now let's treat the appearance of our character. So for the body, we could uh, add, uh, as you can see, there's the various uh, different skins that we could use. Uh, let's see if they made any other changes. They, as far as I can tell, they only changed uh, the three human skins. If for some reason you wanted to use uh, the old skins, uh, I made a video where you can uh, see the skin vendor, so you should you should be able to get uh, those old skins again. 
but the other skins are pretty much uh, the exact same. So it's only the the three main uh, skins that have been uh, that have been changed. So let's go with the uh, human one. And for the hair, it's pretty much the same hair we had before, but they've uh, they've renamed uh, everything. So let's keep uh, this one here. This used to be called a Nutroy, but uh, they've pretty much uh, simplified uh, the whole naming system. Although it does uh, take away some of the unique bits, like uh, you had uh, a hairstyle that was called uh, Jules, I think. That was uh, Samuel Jackson from uh, Pulp Fiction. But, uh, oh well. And then we're going to go back and we're going to tweak uh, the colors of our... Oh, no, let's tweak the costume first. Too fast, too fast. Uh, for the head... Uh, this should work a bit better. The face, we don't really need anything. Uh, the emblem, nah, we don't need an emblem. Uh, for the chest, let's go with the reverse uh, slimline. Again, there's pretty much all the same style we used to have, so I don't think they made any changes on that, on that front. So let's go with the reverse slimline. Uh, for the back, uh, no back. I would put a sword, but uh, uh, this, the only sword we can have is like a tier six I think so we'll go without a sword uh, we'll go for the classic gloves the waist is fine the waist is the simple utility belt so let's stick with that for the legs let's go with the new Genesis legs I love the new Genesis legs uh, the feet or we're, we're going to stick with the clean cuff the feet so now we can tweak uh, the color of our character so let's do that so let's go back and go to colors. Uh, there's two things we can do in colors. Hmm. Could have sworn. Oh, okay, there we go. So the, if we go to costume, in costume there's uh, the palette, and we can customize each piece of gear afterwards. Uh, at first, the palette, uh, we need uh, for death stroke, we need. Uh, we have. Uh, let's make it a bit more orange, maybe. Uh, that should do it. We need uh, basically two shades of blue, which we kind of have. Although I don't really like, uh, don't really like this one. Let's make it a bit more bluish. And this one, I uh, will keep it black. So now we can customize each piece of gear. Uh, let's try and remember how our friend Deathstroke is supposed to look like. Um, yeah, I'll probably tweet the look a bit a bit later. The mask is half blue, half orange. Uh, for now, we'll stick with uh, blue. Uh, for the face, no, nothing for the face. Although for the head, uh, let's put this. Uh, the area around the eyes is black, so now uh, let's do a bit of a compromise like that. Should have some orange, kind of looks weird without it, but now nah, what can you do? So for the chest part, it, well, let's go with uh, light blue for the bottom part. And the belt, let's stick with uh, oh, the hands first. I'm not sure if I should, I should keep the edge of the gloves blue, uh, I guess not. Now the waist, let's uh, put it orange as well. There we go. For the legs, uh, I think the legs are... Hmm, I forget if they're light blue or dark blue. Uh, let's leave it like that. Unless... Uh, I like that is better. And last but not least, the feet. Uh, let's put it all orange. So this, this gives us a nice looking uh, death stroke. So let's try to go next. Uh, successful. Sadly, finding the name is usually problematic to say the least. Uh, let's try just for the fun. I know it won't work. Let's try death stroke. Oh, so in, previously we had to click uh, finish to be able to get the message that the, the name didn't work. Here, as, as soon as you put in, punch in the name, it tells you that the name is invalid. So, oh, let's try 
death strike. Oh, I forgot a little bit. Name invalid. Already taken. Let's try D-Strike. Oh well. Oh, let's try Bad Strike. Oh, that one kind of works. So let's give it a try. Anyway, it's not a character I'm going to keep. I'll just try it for this uh, this video. Uh, some some of you guys have asked for a Deathstroke uh, tutorial, tutorial at some point or walkthrough. Um, I'll make a walkthrough uh, a bit later with the uh, dev stroke, but not today. Today we're just testing out the new uh, Brainiac mission. So let's get started. So as we can start, we can either start the game uh, in a Brainiac mission, we can st skip the Brainiac mission and go straight to, I believe, level 4. Uh, we can skip to level 25, but uh, that cost, I think it's 25 bucks, I forget, or is it 10 bucks? It's been a, it's been a while, so I, and I forgot the price completely. And the skip to CR 210 is like uh, 50 bucks, I think. Oh, and it even tells you that uh, you skip basically up to episode 30, uh, the Earth 3 episode. So let's get started. Uh, I'll skip you skip the cinematics again. Uh, if you want to see the cinematics, uh, look at my videos. I have a video called uh, This Universe Online, the movie. You should you should be able to see uh, a whole bunch of cinematics uh, in that video. Lex Luthor, if you want to live, come with me and be quiet. We don't want to alert Brainiac's sentries. <clears throat> Introductions, Lex. My associate calculator will help us navigate our way through the ship. You can trust him as much as you can trust anyone, that is. Thanks, Lex. Take a walk around and then talk to Lex when you can move on. Take a walk around. Not sure if we're supposed to see something. Well, I guess if you guys never explored uh, that first room, uh, now's the time to do it. So let's start to our friend Lex, and let's get this party started! While we're here, we're going to sabotage the ship and send Brainiac a message not to mess with Lex Luthor at any point in time. You've got a weapon, right? Use it to get rid of the debris blocking the door. And before we do that, uh, let's take a quick look. Uh, let's lock our styles. Uh, usually when you gather new pieces of gear, uh, it changes the look of your character. Uh, in order to be, ab to be able to avoid that, you go into style. Uh, you see those little... Uh, come on. I'm not sure why I can't go there. Okay, if we do hold all, it's going to, uh, to lock all the styles. But if we were to do, let's say, release all, you can see the little lock uh, gets changed. So that means that uh, with the lock open, as soon as we equip a new piece of gear, it would change the style of our character to look like the, the new piece of gear we've, we've equipped. In order to avoid that, we have to do hold all. And you don't want to do unlock all styles. Basically what it does is that uh, it will unlock all the styles. Like you can see, you can unlock styles using replay badges. They'll uh, start with the number. That's the amount of replay badges you need to unlock a style. But if you were, let's say, to click unlock all styles, it will, it will unlock all the styles on your character and use up all the replay badges needed to do that. I don't think I have enough replay badges to unlock all the styles, but uh, don't take any chances, don't click unlock all styles, otherwise you will, you may end up spending a whole bunch of replay badges by accident. Uh, so we've already arranged the look of our character, and I'm pretty sure the primary weapon... This is the, our weapon right now. Oh, it's not very appealing. Uh, let's tweak the look at least a bit. Uh, let's put it black. There we go. 
And let's look at our loadout. Oh, we don't have any power yet. Oh, that's nice. And for the weapon, we only have one point in weapons. Uh, in the past, we used to start with like uh, 10 skill points because they, they were giving us a whole bunch of feats that were no longer available. I guess now we're going to, we're, we're going to get those feats uh, later. So let's start by destroying uh, those, uh, those debris, as they say. Oh, party crashers. I thought I said All be quiet. Move into position. The human. I so I guess at first... One without you in So I guess at first you have no choice but you use only your weapon and uh, you don't really have uh, much in terms of weapon combo. So you really start with the bare minimum. Gather reinforcements. I will patrol towards the prisoner bay. So that is an overseer. They patrol parts of the ship and protect it from people like you. Be a pal and destroy it, won't you? Let's go destroy the overseer. With our friend Alex, of course. Oh, and it, I just realized we have uh, 31 colas. Oh, and we we went up in level, so it gave us our first uh, power, which is a uh, pump action shotgun. And there's a little uh, healing barrel here. Well, let's bring it with us. Oh, surprise, surprise. Brainiac is threatening our world, but only we get to do that. Well, let's if you back a bit. destroy the ship's central AI core, we disable the ship. Sure, Brainiac has other ships, but this puts him on notice and may slow his invasion. Yeah, I do have a tendency to play a little uh, too close to the action. Oh, maybe a little too far now. Sworn I saw, oh, there it is. There's no reason not to bring the barrel with you. I don't think way. you get a feed for not using the barrels. Oh, our friend uh, Lex uh, needs our help. So I guess Lex keeps on moving forward uh, even without us. Cool that they have uh, legs uh, start with you and uh, play the whole mission with you. It's something that we've we've complained about for years. How there was very little DC lore in the first mission. I remember writing a long post uh, years ago about how they could have had uh, a lot more NPCs in that first mission to make it feel like DC. Alien metal would be out of this world. No pun intended. Hold on, they're starting to activate. That's not good. I'll get Professor Zoom and Sinestro over there to help you fight them. Ah, uh, now, that, now that's what I'm talking about. Said, oh, we have Zoom and Sinestro. Holy crap. What's the matter? Are you lagging? 
took years, but they finally uh, did what a lot of people were asking. I guess they're trying to uh, max increase the chances that the, the people who will st st try the game on Switch uh, will feel like they're within the DC Universe right from the start. Because I seem to recall that basically that is, that is what made me start making videos. Uh, at some point, Jens Henderson, the creative director at the time, was saying how a lot of players didn't finish that, that first mission. And I guess they, they've taken steps to try to ensure that people would go through uh, that mission and they I guess they la they did listen to all the feedback we gave them through the years. Because finally at last they're giving us a lot more this universe uh, this universe and uh, this universe online game. Oh, I have to plug in my controller. So if you're a DC fan, it's pretty cool to start, not just with Lex, but to have our friend uh, Professor Zoom and the evil Sinestro to help us out. Uh, let's try to see Sinestro a bit more. This won't stop me! Sinestro and Zoom are off to destroy the ship's gun. Gotta respect Aww. Brainiac's commitment to overwhelming force. So we learned another. I should probably I should break all the the healing barrels, but nah, no point uh, with this character. But if you guys uh, start a new character, do it. My readings show a full-scale invasion force aboard. We have to destroy this ship. Breaking all the orange barrel will help you uh, try to get defeat for breaking uh, orange barrels. Okay, as you can see right now, we got our first feat, but it goes up to I think a thousand healing barrels. So you better break every healing barrels you see uh, until you do get uh, the 1,000 feet. Uh, let's see if... Uh, oh, Lex is uh, not waiting for us again. All Citadel units move into take. position. Contain the human. Power. What are you doing in here? I look forward to a new future, one without a limit. Sealed up. Our friend Lex is excited. All units move into position. Contain the human. Sorceress and he's the Joker. Go help them destroy that thing. Stay alert. This is sure to get Brainiac's undivided attention. Ah, so that's nice. Now we have all the mentors. I guess that's one of the reasons why they they remade the skins of all the mentors. Well, let's go see our friend Joker a bit. He has a gun. I guess enemies will respond uh, to infinity, so let's destroy the thingy here. Oh, yeah. Oh Scratch. yeah. Actually, I love it. Oops, the ship is breaking apart, but I can't open a teleporter. Brainiac kicked me out of his systems. 
You'll have to defeat him if you don't want to go down with the ship. I know that it may seem uh, weird to fight Brainiac from the start, but uh, one of the complaints that a lot of people had was that uh, in the, that first mission we fought a lot of uh, generic robots, so it's nice to have uh, to fight uh, Brainiac, even if it's it's not really a version I'm familiar with. I don't remember seeing Brainiac like that, other than DC Universe Online, maybe. Nope. I'm not sure why I have uh, 50 colas. Didn't realize I had uh, gained uh, so many colas as playing the game. Oh, let's drink one just for the fun of it. it did not give us that uh, that much that much health. Do not think you have won, for I wear many shells. I am the source. Oh, our friends are leaving. Or no? So again, don't take any chances, break all the, the healing barrels so that you can uh, advance in your feet. And before we talk to Lex, let's uh, try to admire the... So this is a new Joker model that they've made, uh, that, that they've reskinned uh, not too long ago. Uh, they did, I have to admit, they did a good job. I'm not sure why the hand is in the air like that, but it uh, doesn't matter, it's a minor uh, nitpick. Probably was always like that and I just noticed uh, now. Uh, for sure, see, I'm a bit sad. Uh, uh, the model looks fine, but they, they tried to cover up a bit. I guess they thought she would look uh, too sexy somehow. Which sadly seems to be a pattern uh, in a lot of media right now. Uh, they're trying to make uh, women not so sexy. Not too crazy about that, but uh, what can you do? So, that, and uh, let's... My friend Lex, I can't really tell the difference. Maybe the textures are a bit uh, more scratchy. Uh, oh well. So let's start our friend Lex. You are stronger than I thought, but you've got a lot to learn. Work for me, and I will teach you how to control your new powers. Maybe even enhance them. That was intense. You've got some killer moves, seriously. Ready to leave the ship now? I'll contact you once you're on the ground. Let's skip, skip the cinematic. Again, if you want to see the cinematics, uh, check my video, This Universe Online, the movie. You, and you can see a whole bunch of cinematics there. Yeah, we don't... Oh, we don't get any gear. I'm so sad. Uh, the Awakening. Oh, well, let's get out of here. Uh, I thought... Uh, I guess we have a few pieces of gear. And uh, we got a bunch of colas. But let's get out of here. So, I guess that's going to be pretty much it. Oh, we gained an... Uh, oh, yeah, we... We're level 4 normally when we, when we finish. Oh, and now we got our cape. So let's equip it. So as you get, come off the ship, you can still purchase a few pieces of gear that you're missing here. I need your help with a science project. My research lab at Metropolis General has developed a mutagen from Parasite's DNA, but they claim it isn't ready for human testing. I need someone with a more flexible set of ethics. Collect the mutagen injector from a nearby van, and I'll be back with further instruction. And there's a little uh, mechanical supply officer here. Uh, we can't buy the gear yet. It says item level 25, but I wonder if it's only because we don't have any source marks. I guess at some point with another character, I'll, I'll test uh, at what point you can start purchasing gear from that, that little guy. Uh, let's go pick up our mail uh, just because. Ah, oh, calculator is so nice. It's giving us a mask. So let's equip our new mask. So normally what I would do at this point, once I finish the Brainiac mission, I would come see this little, uh, 
vendor here. Lex Corp makes the best oh, oh, hardware and is willing to sell it to our most loyal customers. Sadly, to purchase uh, gear from this guy. Lex Corp makes the best hardware and is willing to sell it to our most loyal customers. You have to earn uh, renown with uh, Lex Corp, and also there's a level requirement, so uh, you're not going to be able to purchase that anytime soon. I've got the latest gear for your everyday needs. So we don't really have, uh, normally we would have some stuff to sell, but not today. And we're missing uh, quite a few things today. We're missing a uh, headpiece, the pants, well more than that, but uh, I'm talking about what we can purchase from uh, that character. So let's purchase some pants, and let's purchase a headpiece, thought we could maybe purchase, oh we need level 9. Let's see if we can purchase a weapon. Uh, we can purchase a weapon, but it seems to be the same as what we have. So let's repair our gear. Let's equip our new, uh, our, our new gear we purchased. And I guess we would be ready to to go. So that was the new uh, the new Brainiac tutorial. Uh, it's nice to see that they've added a whole bunch of iconics to the mission. Uh, I'm not sure why eons ago when they made this universe online they did not think to do that to begin with. Uh, it was strange how, how little DC there was in, uh, in many content uh, in the early days. Uh, it was one of the things that made a lot of people scratch their heads uh, when they decided to make a game called DC Universe Online, but you could not play as Batman or Superman or those characters, and you, you did not interact very much with those characters as well. So it was a bit, uh, uh, let's say a bit disappointing at first, but uh, eventually you get, you, we got over it. But it's nice to see that they, they got the message, I guess, and for, I guess for, for the, since they're, they're going to, to make the game for Switch, or they are making the game for Switch, they're going to release it during the summer for Switch. They want to make sure that new players have that uh, DC, DC experience, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it, was, uh, it, it was about time. So it's nice to see that they, in the long term, they finally listened to what a lot of us were saying. So that is going to be pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, oh yeah, there's a little, oh, we looked at it. So if, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about, ask, about answering your questions. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.